far ahead. He has a replay of this bottom lane fight, so Freak, you know, what really helped Genja? Really, really good Terrify. He gets a lot of damage from the Crow Storm, but this Crescendo means everything. It locks up both TG and EXO, and as you mentioned, Genja was out of range. Been working so, so well. Diamond's gonna go in once again, going aggressive, but Herkibos there this time. Death Sentence lands on Candy Panda, tries to flame away, but Voidal might be in trouble himself. The damage though, piercing arrow comes across. Genja picks himself up the time. He has that death mark available. He wants to be able to kill Ash Arrow, he's available too. Enchanted Crystallari can't really miss this one, doesn't matter. There's the volley up towards Voidal. There's the arrow, this time up towards Genja. Ocelot's desperately trying to escape down in proxy, but Diamond's gonna try and turn this one around back up towards Candy Panda. One more shot will do it. There it is. Viv actually picks up the kill, but he gets taken down. The pass back up. They can't take down the mighty Genja right now. He is absolutely dominating this lane. And he's like an EG right here can finish the game if they so choose to. Yeah, that's the same one, will they? No, they are gonna. They're gonna push in for this one. They're gonna get those Nexus turrets down. <laughs> oh, are they gonna... Oh, they're gonna kill him! They're gonna die! Oh, they got him! They got him! Snoopy trying to get away. Oh, not quite there. Well, they got the kill there on the summoner platform, and I think that's all they were looking for. They're gonna take down the Nexus and EG! And Gambit, with the goal that they have, with the way they've been playing this past week, I think they're gonna be really explosive, and here's again. Jada Corruption on towards Genja, here's the arrow, but he flashed around it, nicely played from Genja there. Now he turns his attention to Nip, pissing up. I think they're gonna be really explosive, and here's again. Jada Corruption on towards Genja, here's the arrow, but he flashed around it, nicely. Play from Genja there. Now he turns his attention to Nip piercing out. Know your your position. Yeah. Huh? Know what your position. Play in game. Which position? Yeah. I'm sitting like this. Oh, yeah. You're sitting like this. And you? Yeah. I'll see. You just can do this, this, so. Or... And you, you just have a new position. Whatever. You can't see. You'll come with the ball. So. <laughs> and you? you just shake like this. You like this? Yeah, this huh. And you? Oh my God. Like this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, they're going in towards Genja there in the back. Darien using the ultimate on himself, but look at the damage and the shock wave coming out of Violet Sea. High's gonna fall here. They've absolutely obliterated them. And Genja pushing in onto the backside. Alex will steal that one away, and there's the flash in. Paul Hedwood quite have the damage to uh... middle turret with no vision. I'm gonna put this in slow mo because it is one of the best double ups you've ever seen. Genja flashes forward, casts onto Crepo, and look at the bounce. Goes straight from Crepo to Yellow Feet, takes him out, and they immediately just start jumping in into clean house. This was pretty much the story of every single team fight from Gambit through the entirety of that particular game. So, ahead, and we can see he does a good job getting Genja here. If Genja didn't have any friends, he also is going to try to flash away late, but those auto attacks from minions finish him off anyway. And now Freeze is the one in the bad spot. He's the AD carry between three members of Gambit. Gambit. Genja gets off his nice bullet time and then flashes just before. Et on est proche. Attention, l'ulti de Nunu tranquillement. Là, qui va bloquer toute la team adverse. L'ulti de MF, mon dieu. Le premier kill, le deuxième kill de la part de MF. On va aller chercher la team qui fait tomber le deuxième kill. Attention à euh, Nissin qui est en train de jump. Et on va certainement l'avoir. Attention. Oh là là, le kick qui ne suffira pas, je pense, pour voir. Et il ne reste plus que Starlock. On est sur un quadruplé de la part de euh, MF. Attention, on va aller chercher euh, cette luxe et.
Finish right. Not gonna be able to interrupt it right now. Herkubot has flash and fling Diamond Brush backwards. He has a big fight. Diamond goes in and they're gonna get Nip really low. He does get a crescendo off before he dies here. In fact, he's not dead. He's still alive there for a good couple of seconds afterwards. But right now it's pretty even. Two for two. Alex is right in the middle of them. Double kill coming out for Genja. Can they finish off here? There's another one. In the last man alive here is Kevin. He's dunked down by Alex. Die as they four for zero. KT Bolster B in the mid lane. Oof, there is some pain that this will miss, but Genja, you're just seeing him put out damage. He'll be an enemy that's needed for him as well. They're going to push on, though. It's like KTB is trying to re-engage us in the box. Of Edward's going to disposition them ever so slightly, though. Something continues to getting slowed. Apprehends and Alex into the intervention gets popped. Tries to dunk down on the dairy. Not going to work. The bullet time goes off, but they don't really hit anyone. But a good shockwave repositions Gambit Gaming, but they're still going to continue forward. Two kills have been popped up. One for Kale, one for Kama, and Diamond Prox leading the charge under tower here. Double kill goes on to Alex Itch, pulling the lantern. Diamond Fox trying to get in for another one here. Koma sights on a second kill for himself. Darren leaping in and chasing away the remaining member of Mafa. And Gambit Gaming taking a four for none. And the second bit. Breaking or game changing, but we do see Genja once again prioritizing that blood burst. So we see a flash over the wall, but they're even scared yeah, of him. No. Uh, from that side, it's Voidal. You're actually going to get locked up, but that might just be a catalyst for them to go fighting through the bullet time. Has hammered away at Genja. He gets two from that. There is Alex coming in with Destiny at the side. It ends with a triple kill as Snoopy goes down as well. And I tell you what, Gambit might just look to. Come in. Oh, what a monsoon coming out of Edward there. And there's the arrow coming around.